Hi, welcome again. In this lesson, let us see the conditional executions or control flows or decision making statements. Python provides two types of Boolean expressions true and false. Program flow which involves Boolean expressions are usually known as the conditional executions or control flows in program. If we look at the Boolean expressions like true and if we check the type of these Boolean expressions, we will get the type as Boolean. Similarly, false and type of the false. Real meaning of the Boolean expressions varies from various applications. So, in general, we can say that any expression which evaluates to true or false to compare numeric expressions for equality or inequality is known as the Boolean expression. And the programming statements or expressions which involve this kind of Boolean expressions to evaluate and do the useful operation based on either the true or false conditions are known as Boolean expressions. We can use any kind of data types to work with Boolean expressions. Hence, the program flow which involves Boolean expressions are usually known as the conditional executions are also called as an decision making statement. It is true that for any programming language, we need the decision making statements or control flows or conditional executions. A Boolean variable is also a Boolean expression. A single Boolean variable is also a Boolean expression. An expression comparing numeric expressions for equality or inequality is also a Boolean expression. The simplest kinds of Boolean expressions use relational operators to compare two expressions. So here we can see the relational operators which are available in Python. So here you can see the Boolean expressions and how they operate. If x is equal to is equal to y, if we have two variables x and y, then it results true if x is equal to y. So, here double equal symbol is nothing but the mathematical equality check operator. It is not an assignment. Okay. Next, x is less than y. It results true if x is less than y, otherwise false. Similarly, x is less than or equal to y, x is greater than y. It results true if x is greater than y, otherwise false. x is greater than or equal to y, 
it results true if x is greater than or equal to y otherwise false similarly if x is not equal to y it results true otherwise false so here what you can see here these are the mathematical uh, expressions okay uh, this is how we write in mathematics but this is how we write in uh, python programming language or any other programming language which is similar to like python Since variables can change their values during a program's execution, Boolean expressions are most useful when their truth values depend on the values of one or more variables. Let us see the simple example in the interactive shell. So here if x is equal to 10, then if you print the variable x it results 10 but the comparison operators what we have seen just now if i use x is less than 10 then it results false so here x is equal to 10 it is an assignment operator so 10 the value of 10 is assigned to the variable x so here we are not assigning 10 to the variable x so as we have seen here x is less than y so here y is the default value which is not defined directly we are assigning the value 10 here for example okay and we are comparing with the variable x so x is not less than 10 because we have assigned the va value 10 for the variable x hence it results false so in order to avoid confusion let us assign y is equal to 10 now if i print y then we got the value of y as 10 next if i do the same operation x is less than y we got false so i think now you got the idea what i did previously so i just compared the variable x with the direct value 10 so here i have assigned the value 10 to the variable y and then i am comparing the variable x with the variable y so that is the difference directly you can combine compare by using the values or you can assign the value to a variable and you can compare okay next let us see the different uh, comparison operations like x if x is less than or equal to 10 again here uh, instead of 10 let us uh, write the variable y x is less than or equal to y so here y is also 10 and x is also 10 so x is less than or equal to y results true because less than or equal to it here you can see the symbol equal okay either it should be less than or equal to 
So it is not less than y, but it is equal to y, hence it results true. Next we have x is greater than y. So we got false because both the variables are having the value 10. Next, if I compare x is less than 100, yes, 10 is less than 100, so it results true. If I compare x is less than 5, we got false. Let us see, x is not equal to or y. Here y is also 10, x is also 10. So when we use the not equal symbol, we get false because x is also 10, y is also 10. But we are asking whether x is equal to 10. But here we are asking is x equal to 10 or not. So here this expression is nothing but x is not equal to y. But the actual the truth is x is equal to y because both x and y variables consist of the value 10. So is here the expression x not equal to y becomes false so because of the same reason if i compare x is equal to is equal to y then we will get true so look at here that is the difference yes obviously x is equal to 10 right because x has the value 10 and y also has the value 10 so here x is equal to is equal to y it is nothing but equality operator so it results true x is not equal to y it results false so let us look at one more uh, example x is not equal to 5 this time we will get true because the value of x is 10 sorry the value of the variable x is 10 and here the right side value is 5 so x is not equal to 5 10 is not equal to 5 so definitely we will get true so this is how the comparison operators work suppose in the program if we use user inputs instead of predefined values of x to perform some tasks then the direct use of x will likely to confuse the human readers so we can avoid this type of confusion and make the program to execute what the programmer expected to be performed during some control flows or conditional executions known as program controllers in general so in this lesson and in the later lessons we will see the different types of conditional executions or control flows used in Python. These are the control flow statements used in the program. If statement, if else statement, else if statement, nested if statements, while loop statements, for loop, combination of while and for loops, nested for loop, combination of while for if else statements and finite versus infinite while loop for loop statements.